Hello, John Britt here. Today we're going to show you not too much throwing, but how to trim a foot ring, a drip ring we call it. So here's some samples of uh, like what we're talking about. This is on an oil spot bowl. It has this drip here, and it doesn't hit the foot. So normally you would carve the drip ring. Uh, you could set this on a, a wad so it doesn't run into it when it drips off. But here's other examples of sometimes you can get it real nice. And other times they're, um, you know, there's just all different ways. This method is a different method. This method, you just put the glaze on real thick and let it run down a, a V-shaped pot. Okay? And then here's a cutout of what we're going to be doing. So this is like the bowls that we're making. And you can see here that I've, I've cut this in half and show you where that drip ring is going to be. All right, so here's some other ones that I have actually have done on just on uh, just trimmed today, and now I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so we should have this already pretty much centered, so we're ready to roll. First thing I do is cut this foot back to kind of where I want it to be. And I have a bunch of other, I have a bunch of small tools also. These are like little sculpture tools. This is a bison tool, but the, you don't have to use that kind. This is a, I have this Dolan tool also. Okay, so, so these are small, uh, like a, that's a small round, which I'll sometimes put in here. They're just a little, you know, they're more delicate. Okay. So the first thing I'll do is usually cut my foot. Then when I get that about good, I will come over here, try to establish where my where I want my drip to be. And then I'll cut this back a little. So what I want to do is I want to have the glaze come here and pool in here and then run off. Okay, so then what I'll do is come in here and establish my drip, finish trimming this bottom piece. Then I might, what I sometimes will do is just make sure this is angle. I want it to angle back under a little bit. So that way when it drips, it won't overshoot it. Okay? Okay? So there you go. So now, you know, the glaze will come here and pull and then drip off here instead of running down the foot. All right, so that's all I got for you today, and uh, make about, uh, let's see, 322, and we'll see you next time. Okay.